Michael Wargo, team pilot with uh, Precision Aerobatics. And today we're talking servos. I really haven't done any video just about the value of having good servos and so on and so forth. But uh, PA just sent me the new NXT 200, high voltage servos. They have insane amounts of torque and speed. The reason this is really important is whatever model that you're using, I mean, this, these will fly very well in any size 60 uh, size model, uh, any plane. But the fact that the servos are extremely accurate, that means they go off and back on and they're right back on center and don't vary. Um, as you're trying to fly a straight line and you pull a maneuver, especially a, uh, you know, a, a more violent maneuver where you're adding full elevator or something like that or you know, full aileron, when you snap back, it's important that the plane stays exactly where you put it and isn't hunting and fishing. Uh, I've had that problem with so many uh, uh, cheap servos. But these are just next level servos and uh, they're really doing some amazing things for the performance of the aircraft. Um, today is the first day I'm going to fly with these new servos. Um, but I, I'm, I put it in my ultimate and I just cannot wait to see what, what they can do. Anyway, there are three things you really need to be concerned with with servos. And like I said, these things just absolutely nail it in every category. You know, again, one is speed. The other is torque, so that it has enough strength to, to not, you know, have any blowback at all. And the other one, of course, is, is centering. And, you know, these were a long time in development to make sure that they just hit the mark absolutely everywhere. And for this size servo, there is absolutely nothing better. Okay, at this point, I'm going to take the new servos and I'm going to take the plane up and I'm going to give you an idea of why these, these fast and strong servos are, are really important and what a difference it actually makes in the aircraft. First things first, you know, an opening sequence, very quick, you know, with the ailerons uh, to, to point. And the one thing that's important about the, the servos that are very accurate and center and stay on center is when I do these maneuvers, everything just locks right in instantly. Now, most importantly is these high speed maneuvers where we just wanna pull straight up. Look how dead vertical this thing goes and stays. Not to mention, you know, having enough strength to come down in a blender like this. Full speed and lock right in. You've also seen me do, you know, maneuvers where I do that, you know, the death dive, or uh, in this case, we'll come out, we'll go straight down, we're coming nice and fast, and we'll just stop instantly. And these maneuvers where the plane does exactly what it's supposed to do, and does not have any blowback at all or anything like that, the servo has enough strength to pull it off. This is really the first time having these servos in this plane and it's really, really, they really feel nice. You know, having them super, super fast or super strong in the slow maneuvers doesn't matter quite as much. But, you know, especially during tumbling and things like this, really important. Now another thing that's super, super important with servos is that they center well. That means if I want to do any straight line maneuvers like this, they stop and the plane doesn't want to drift up, doesn't want to drift down, it wants to stay, it wants to stay exactly on the line it's put. And again, that's really important. I think one of my biggest pet peeves are servos that just don't want to center. Uh, because, you know, if you pull a maneuver up and then want to level off again, then the plane wants to just drift off of center. Again, it's really all about control and the fact that with these servos, whatever you put in, you get out. And that's really the important thing, especially if you're taking chances with the ground. Where you hit the rudder very, very hard. And there's another one. I'm just going to absolutely slam the rudder. You've seen in most of my videos, you know, I'll, I'll do that 
that death dive. And this will allow me to come out a little lower to the ground because I'm a little more certain the fact that the servo is going to perform ex exactly. All right. And notice with the death dive, it'll come out exactly where it's supposed to. Here's another maneuver where, uh, I'm going to do a pop top, another maneuver where servo strength is really important. 